And mosaic is, can be very, very um, sculptural and storytelling and playful and, um, you know, as, as kind of important as, as a painting. I like the storytelling aspect of ancient mosaics, so I kind of incorporate that in my, uh, my own work. So this, this piece is called... Pamela Irving has been creating ceramics, mosaics and paintings for almost 35 years. One of her best known pieces is in St Kilda's Lunar Park that took four years to complete. She believes mosaic is having a resurgence in Melbourne. The profile of it is, in, is increasing in Australia, but it's not very well known here. As more and more people become trained in mosaics internationally and move to Australia or teach Australians how to do it, it will become more and more part of our architecture. However, most Australian mosaic artists are self-taught or have to travel overseas to learn the art. There really, there's a, a history of having some mosaics in the public in Melbourne, but there's nowhere that you can actually go and learn to, to, to do mosaics. Artisan Fabian Skornik travelled to an Italian school to learn how to create mosaics. He now is the director of Mosaic Republic based in Moorabbin. There was always something that was in the back of my mind to say one day I'm going to do this, and one day I did. This is the, the centrepiece of the Forum Theatre we did. He became part of Melbourne history when he helped to restore the mosaic floor and two stairwells of the Forum Theatre. That's nice because we also got to put our own slant on it. We put a, a mosaic gargoyle in the centre of the, of the foyer. So it's nice to say I've had a bit of uh, input into the Forum Theatre. Modern mosaics have already started to transform Melbourne's artistic landscape. If these artists get their way, mosaics like these ones will be popping up all over Melbourne. Bethan Wayman, Newsline.